What is going on YouTube and the interwebs? In case you are new to me or this channel, I am Dark Tale the Wise, aka Daddy Daycare, and you have found Noob to Sweaty Gaming. Now the closed beta is closed. <laughs> and so I'm going to give a little bit of some general impressions. I will have more than one video up this week going more in depth on the game, on my evaluation of the beta itself. Let me preface this by saying A, I am not a monetized channel. B, I am not endorsed by anybody, Activision, Sledgehammer, etc. I am just a small YouTube channel with a very honest opinion. I do not bullshit people. I do not blow smoke up your ass, etc. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about the game. So, my impressions just of the beta itself, it was fantastic. I've been on Twitter. I've let it be known. But I found that this game had more to it than a bunch of betas I played within the past six months. Multiple levels, multiple weapons, multiple score streaks. If anything, this is the the un dub if you will, beta. Uh, Infinite Warfare, when it came out, the beta didn't even play the day it came out. They actually gave us this beta a day in advance. And I've told this to a lot of my fellow YouTubers and friends online that the biggest difference I've seen between betas from last year to this year is that Sledgehammer is beating the drum. They are out in front, loud and proud, showing you this game. They are not hiding it. They are giving the fans what they want. The dirty, the grimy, the war itself that Call of Duty has been missing. Speaking of war, uh oh, getting better with these transitions. <laughs> so, speaking of war, we are involved with a little bit of war mode. And I figured this would be the first video that I would put out onto YouTube because obviously you've seen various different weapons in in my hand you've got the rocket launcher you've got sniper rifle the incendiary shotgun that winchester that's a bad bad boy i believe i picked up a ppsh at this point so war mode is pretty much you're on the offense and you will be on the defense so what you're doing is since we're on offense first, I will start with that side. As I jump my happy ass in this tank, get on the big gun. But in the beginning, you need to take over an area. That was the first little mansion we rushed. The second part, because you gotta get this big ass tank through, is that you need to build a bridge. Now, building the bridge funnels all the traffic, bottlenecks it pretty much, into one area, which promotes, obviously, the defending side to camp it out and just wait. And it makes it difficult when you're on the offensive to get that done, to get that bridge built because you're bottlenecked so hard. Every, you have to come through there. Everybody has to come through there. War mode is definitely objective based. If you are an objective based player, I guarantee you that this game mode will appeal to you for the simple fact of they don't show you your deaths. They don't show you a lot of the things that are discouraging about other game modes. Your objective is to get this tank to the back of the map. To destroy the guns so that your reinforcements can come in and save you and obviously it's vice versa when you're on defense you will see the defensive part 
here in the second half of this round as we're winding down getting this tank in I'm just gonna go hero jumping this gun trying to push this tank through look how close we, we were literally at 99% all the front tires had to, all the front wheels had to do was touch that red line that was in front of me and we did not get it done but speaking of variations of guns and all the guns I've used here's that good old MG 15 which to this point of the game doesn't matter the game mode has been my favorite LMG of the game so you can see the corner three two one we're at objective four once you hit overtime they have to kill off your entire team for you to fail and since I was still alive that's how we were still in the overtime different now we're getting into that defensive second half so I wasn't a victim of advanced warfare I was a complete victim of infinite warfare <laughs> I have only witnessed advanced warfare from afar from watching supporting other fellow youtubers hashtag camp life in the chat so I was never soured by sledgehammer games which is a good thing because I go into this game with a completely open mind with no sour taste in my mouth if you will I got a bet I got a worse sour taste than ever for a uh, Infinity Ward, which isn't really the Infinity Ward, but here's the mansion that you have to defend, and honestly, they got through really quick. But guess what part is next? Oh, they have to come build a bridge. And you will see the squad. We're going to put it down on them when they try to cross. Shooting down the parachutes on paratroopers will kill the paratroopers. Also, shooting down the parachutes on your care packages will drop that care package faster. And that, my friends, right there was a perfect example of me using the mechanics of the game to get in a better position quicker. Now, I have that flamethrower. But unfortunately, they're not going to make it across this bridge, so I didn't get to have a human barbecue. And I will admit that burning people up in this game via incendiary shotgun shell, via Molotov cocktail, via flamethrower is very satisfying burning people alive they sit there and they scream and they cry and it, it's crazy man it's a little too realistic almost but it certainly is satisfying to fire up the human barbecue so like I was saying about being on offense hey we put our noses down worked as a team and got that bridge built to get our tank across but these guys they're basically playing for kills and if you want to play for kills you better go take it to TDM which I will admit through the beta had the best spawns out of any of the game modes which says a lot but we'll get into that topic anyways on another video so as you can see, they got 15 seconds to get that bridge up. And we're so in place. There we go with the five piece. Give me a biscuit or two. They are not getting across the bridge. But what I want to know from everybody out there that is watching that video, did you participate in the closed beta? And if so, what were your thoughts on it? Leave them down in the comment section below. As always, you are never too old to live, and I will be seeing you on the next World War II video.